And that's why if a woman is attacked or molested, then it's her fault because it's her responsibility entirely to prevent that from happening. And so if they don't prevent it from happening, well, uh, there are estimates that up to 75% of the women who are in prison in Pakistan today are there because they are victims of rape. And because they're, and, they were raped, they're there. And uh, the, uh, the irony here is, you know, they, they spread this myth and they believe this myth that, you know, you, you brought it on yourself. And yet, well, I mean, I, I guess you, I guess you could say the same thing about what goes on. But one of the things we saw over, you know, <clears throat> in the past few years was the mosque Me Too movements where you had all of these uh, Muslim women who were taking the pilgrimage to Mecca and talking about being sexually abused while, while bowing down to the Kaaba. At, at, the, at the great mosque, at the grand mosque. And they were being, you know, they, they are bowing down and someone's behind them feeling, feeling on them and so on because, because of no self-control. Guess what? They were, they're fully clothed Muslim women and yet uh, they're being molested. So you, you, you could say it even here. You say, well, well, maybe women shouldn't even be out there or something like that, but. Well, this is one of the reasons why women don't often go to mosque and why there are separate entrances and a separate place for women in the mosque and why they have to be behind the men. Because after all, what happens if the women are in front of the men at the mosque? You can't, you can't expect the guy to control himself or to actually be focusing on, on his prayers with, with some, woman's, some woman's rear end in his face. And it invalidates the prayer. 